Welcome everybody to the penalty box segment for Monday. It's March 11th. We are right on the cusp of the madness. Tournaments start tonight. We'll be talking a little bit about my college basketball later on, but I got two NHL bets to give you, and I love them both. Let's start right off the bat with St. Louis Blues going into Boston. I like Boston here in regulation at minus 135. And let me just say a couple of quick things. Number one, I don't believe in the St. Louis Blues team. I think this team is a fade team moving forward. They've lost three games in a row. They've scored a grand total of three goals in their last three games. They just got shut out by the Rangers, and now they're playing the Boston Bruins. And Boston is in a dogfight for both the division and the conference. They have finally started playing better hockey after a small slump. They just beat Pittsburgh 5-1. They beat Toronto 4-1. Those are two impressive wins, while Pittsburgh not really, but still they played well. Um, I think Boston here is going to win this game at around a 4-1 score. I just think St. Louis is a fade team, and Boston is a bet-on team, especially for tonight. Guys, before we get into our next game, New York Islanders and LA Kings, I just want to tell you about my college basketball promotion. My college basketball has been insane. I am on a huge run right now in college basketball, five and one in my last two days. And that's not the entire run. My whole season, 45 units of profit. You bet $100 a unit on my college basketball season, you're up $4,500. I made double digit profits last year in college basketball as well. I made double-digit profits in the madness last year. Please, $149 for my entire college basketball month of play, right up until the nets come down. It's 25 bucks a day, guys. So instead of buying six days, just go get the $149 package. You can find it on my personal page on the right side. Okay, let's get into our next game. New York Islanders are playing Los Angeles Kings. And I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, anytime the New York Islanders have a five and a half on board, take it over no matter who they play. This team scored six last game themselves. The game before that, seven. The game before that, four. And then they put up a five on Boston and a five on Detroit. This team is going to get to five and a half themselves, or at least damn close. I think if the Kings put up two, this game goes over the total. And the Kings have put up four, five, and five three times in their last five games. So it's not like the LA Kings can't score. I can't believe this total is so low. It's shocking to me. Take over the total in the Kings game. That's it for the penalty box segment. Please do not sleep on my college basketball. Love you guys. See you tomorrow.